Welcome back to Booty High Seas Low Expectations. You've tuned in to session 14, part one. This is it. This is the last two bits. This is our last session of this campaign of Booty. It's a grand finale split over two parts. Chris Trott is here along with Ross Hornby right. and Craig Frost. They're Hello. playing just the most here. hilarious characters that you've come to know and love <laughs> over the run of this season. Thank wow. you to all those who have joined in and thank you to the people who have not only commented, subscribed, but also those who've paid us money for this frankly Cold disorganized mess. Um, we hope you've enjoyed it so far. Um, we hope that you will spread the word and show other people these videos and that those views will tick up over the years and form a legacy of income for all of us here at Hat Films, apart from Craig, who's paid by Yogscast. Thanks again to Craig for joining us and doing the live vision mixing of this series. You're welcome. Part Alex one Smith. begins now with Chris Trott's legendary recap of where we were in the previous session. Well, Alex Smith, thank you for that build up. This is my loosest notes yet. So here we go. Lucius? We no, that's a different campaign. <laughs> so <laughs> niche reference, that one. We have a disturbed sleep because sharks keep bumping on our glass floor. <laughs> that was, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was fun. That was yeah. scary. Tweaking up against it. We had a lovely breakfast, mm -hmm. uh, served to us by Handsome Andy, our second mate, mm -hmm. who we've deemed a second mate. The first mm -hmm. mate's definitely uh, Bongo. Mm -hmm. We spot in the distance an enormous creature, a huge sea turtle where the shell is a flat triangle, kind of like in Quality Street, the, uh, the hazelnut. Yeah, the green one. one. The green yeah. one. The green one is what they call it, isn't it? Yeah. It's pulling a ship, clearly of the pointed star religion, because it's extremely ornate and it's got a lot of triangles on it. Right, Smith? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> the three-pointed star, the religion, the, the group of people. The Church of Triangulus. The Church of Triangulus are trying to wrangle this turtle back to shore because it's literally a triangle and it, they think it's a, a gift uh, for them and they deserve it, but it's not cooperating. Hence a back and forth of them trying to incite us to help them. Uh, we agree. There's a big luxurious chest on the line full of goodies if we were to succeed in such endeavors. And we have a little inspection of each other's ship in the hopes that we could like, I don't know, steal something, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's um, it, yeah. It's so dodgy. Yeah, we showed yeah. the glass floor. Pee um, in the coffee cups. But I couldn't go. Stuff. Stage fright. Um, <laughs> Titus does his usual thing of um, jumping into the ocean and talking to huge beasts because uh, he can speak with these animals. Yeah, he used a nature. spell, didn't he? Not did. the animals! Tongues, wasn't it? With tongues, yeah. Tongue. He tunged the sea turtle. The sea turtle has a very slow, uh, methodical approach to the English language. Ross, and, uh, Ross, can you remember the sea turtle's name? No. Anyone? Uh, oh, Gamma G. No, it didn't. Yeah. Uh, Gamma the W. Womp. Yeah. Womp. Womp. Yeah, it was a womp. 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 Because <laughs> like, does he have a name? I'm like, no. Womp. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there's a back and forth. Uh, he's not very happy because, you know, he's been tied down and uh, harassed and hurt by the pointed mm -hmm. star. Um, there's a lot of back and forth. There's a bit of miscommunication between Titus and us as to what the plan is. Our plan is to convince the sea turtle to pretend to go along with the plan of like being extremely cooperative with the pointed star, going where they want to go. And then at the end of it, dunk as hard as they can mm -hmm. into the ocean, um, killing all the people on board and were then able to like pillage and take all the stuff that floats to the surface. Um, that didn't go to plan, particularly. Because uh, the wizards can just stop the turtle from diving like they've been doing this whole time. They mm -hmm. have the spell to prevent them from mm -hmm. diving, that's correct. And so that goes awry. The sea turtle doesn't cooperate. There's a miscommunication. They stop it from diving under. And as a result, they're pretty pissed off and they capture Titus as a slave. We do a little gamble and uh, it doesn't go away. The dice don't go away and um, you're forfeit. You're the winning prize. Yep. So, so now you're aboard their ship as a slave, yeah. which is nuts in this day and age, but booty's a different world. It is nuts, isn't it? Um, 
but wizarding ways to get through these types of things. And can people basically go inside my own mind and forget the reality around me? Just live inside your own mind from now yeah. on. Yeah, nice. I'm sure it's that easy. They can do all sorts to me. I wouldn't know. We're left with the moral <laughs> quandary of what do we do? It doesn't feel like a great way to deal with your trauma. No, but it works for now. I'm a wizard. Yeah, Love I'm using my powers as I wish. <laughs> Create Dude, a new what world. Doing it on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Staying inside. Stay focused. <laughs> Stay inside the cage. Concentrate. Of my own mind. And that is the recap. Well there done. You. No, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm going to set the scene a little bit for you. There might have been some slight adjustments, but essentially, right now. Are you rewriting history again? <laughs> oh, Retcon! Yeah, that's every time. Retcon your Stop brains! Oh, you reshape them. Everything's oh. changed. Oh. Why am I here? Titus is now called Titus. Who are you? No, please. <laughs> Titus. Where am I? Okay, so. Titus is currently aboard the, uh, let's call it the enemy ship. It's not an enemy at the moment. Um, has it got like a, like a, a gargling sound engine. to it? Yeah. Hmm? Has it got like a jet engine powering it? Yeah, maybe like a, a exhaust. Like a really bassy bubbling away. exhaust. Yeah, is that what you're hearing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I'm now, that's it. the sound of the malcontent of coming from the giant turtle. It's Whoa. Like, oh, okay. The womp. It's womping. Yeah. Um, you guys are still within a few hundred feet of each other. Uh, the Ship crew, Titus, you hear this, and um, Kapipi and Sword, you sort of see this. They seem to be getting ready to make way again. Just basically, they've tried to get something from you guys. You've very kindly given them some water, some food, some sustenance. Yeah. Um, and they're just going to try and get this bloody turtle back to base. They're hoping that by taking you as a indentured servant, um, that you can perhaps help them um, manipulate this turtle back to, back to port. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Titus, you find yourself on the ship, um, under, you know, you, you, you... I free myself. I escape the bonds of my captors and jump into the ocean and swim away. Into the sunset to enjoy my life. But in reality, and I'm in my And that's the end of Titus' head. story. Guys, what do you want to do? <laughs> that's just in imagining it. <laughs> that's what's happening in my head, guys. <laughs> Snap back to reality, your hands are still bound. Oh, no. With magical metal... Uh, I want to go back. Handcuffs, they bind them to your feet and then behind your back and then there's a chain going from your uh, your wrists down to another set of manacles that are around your ankles. Yeah, my fingers You've free. been hogtied. I've been hogtied. With chain, but you can still yeah. walk around. And How, also oh. this whole thing, the, the, the wizarding crew are very like jovial and like very like this business as usual yeah. about this. They're like, oh, yeah. there you go. Oh, yep. Oh. You loosen my chains, mate. Uh, no, no, no. These are standard size. We, we can't add or you, reduce loops. You just open them. No, no. This is part I'm of not, the, I'm not going to go anyway. You oh. lost the, the gamble. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, but no one mentioned the chain thing. If you'd mentioned there. that first, I feel like I would have done some different things. Well... Uh, I tried to help you. Hindsight's 2020, buddy. I tried to help the, you. The priest? Hmm? I tried to help you. You tried me I failed. spoke to that giant thing. You failed! Concerned. Your plan made no sense. You even said it yourself. It took just moments to question it before you realized, oh, oh yeah, no, we didn't really think that through. No, well, maybe no, you should have thought it through. Maybe this will be a lesson that the Church of Triangulus can bestow no, on you. he misunderstood what I said. I said, don't go down, and he tried to go down. I said, <sighs> I said, no, you are wrong. Everything you're doing is wrong. And then, obviously, there's always, you know, So we should punish the turtle as well as We you. should slap it around a bit. All right, I'll get one of the, um, the deck cans to poke it a few more times with All the right. long pokey stick we've developed. Yeah, okay. And you see, up ahead, you see one yeah. of the, the, the Give him another few yeah. pokes! And then they, Anger him more! And you just do it. Oh, aren't they horrible people? A slight shudder and groan <laughs> yeah. um, as uh, the turtle uh, Womp takes another beating because of you. Yeah. At this point. But he doesn't know. He doesn't know that. He's there just beating him. Yeah. He associates and with this He's just getting more and people. more angry. He's thinking about you and he's like, I hope that, I hope that Triton is helping to free me instead of yeah. Just looking after his own interests, or perhaps losing a bet, <laughs> becoming a prisoner. He doesn't. He doesn't think that much. He might. Nah. <laughs> I'm calling so that one. Sword of what you doesn't know. know. He's a very simple oh, creature. Oh, sword. Oh, I've lost him. I'm torn up. I'm emotionally a mess. I'm falling apart here. The quite trio. You. The three-pointed hat. The three. Musky. Everything is better in threes. Yeah. Anyway, how are we going to do the Horners two of us? So you don't think we should attempt to get? No, I'm J JK. So you seem like you're really. Uh, <laughs> no, that was total JK. That. JK, no, we gotta get him back. Hell yes. We, we gotta get him back. Like it's a right was... mess. Like we, someone's fate, someone's entire livelihood can't 
lie on the hands of a single dice roll. That would be nuts. Imagine your life, right? Yeah. Like it's decided, all your choices you make are like based on dices. Well, that sounds ridiculous. That sounds mental. So I think what we should do yeah. is take destiny into our own hands. Right. Get him back. Yeah. Get the horn. Get <laughs> get the horn after getting the horn. Yeah. Oh, oh I you see know what you mean? mean. Yeah, and well, then won't be we're heroes. We're heroes all together. Well, just, we need his aquatic ability. We'll only be heroes to him. No, no, no. To, we'll tell the story. You'll sing a song about it. I'll sing a song. Sing a dance. Really build us up as right. heroes. We can save the slave. We could be heroes. <laughs> just for one day. Just for one day. Because <clears throat> I don't want it to extend over no. two days. That'd be nuts. Oh, I'd like it to. I've you got see a uh, the crew of the ship start stabbing the uh, turtle in the back of the arse with a long pole. And the turtle seems to begin to start moving. Mm. Pet are going to hate that, aren't they? Who? You know, the organisation on land. <laughs> What do they do? Uh, pretty... Uh, elephants. Excruciate... Pretty elephants. Yeah. Traitorous assholes. What have they got to do with this? They're, well, they hate long sticks. Right. And poking. Anyway... Uh, why are you trying to sort out mnemonics? <laughs> <laughs> I've got an idea. It's wacky and it's wild. Right. Do you have a mirror? Do I have a mirror? Oh, I'm sure, you know, as a bard and you've got a bit of ego, do you not have like a little hand mirror to, I don't think to do your, your hairdo? I, I, I mean, if it's one, I'll look in my shell and just check around in there, but I've not used one for years. And if do I, we have one on board? Bongo. Wait, what Oh, yes. Have you got... Have Reporting you got, for Jotai. Have you got a really reflective surface or a, ideally a mirror? Oh, yes, there's some, there's some down in your quarters. You see, there are only little though. Only little. You know, they're, they're like little tiny little sh like shaving mirrors. Where you're what like, are you thinking, sword? How, much, how big do you need? All right. So imagine if I had an ability, right, and I knew exactly how that ability works. Right. And I min max that ability mm. to ensure our dear friend's survival. This is what I plan to do. Right. You're going to go up to the crow's nest where you're very visible I'm up to there. me. If I was to, I'm visible to them as well. It doesn't matter. Right. You're just up in the crow's nest, having a great time, looking at yourself in the mirror. I've got the mirror. You've got the mirror. Okay. Right? Mirror. What I'm going to do is, because I'm a soldier and I'm highly trained. Well. I'm going to stealth onto that ship. Yeah. Sneak my way through. Right. They're not even going to know I'm there. How are you going to get there? I'm going to sneak my way in. Yeah, but they're sailing off. What? Well, I'm going to be quick, all right? I'm telling right. you the story oh, yeah. really hard, like double speed. I'm going to jump onto the ship. As soon as I see Titus, I just need to see him. I can be at a distance, like 90 hmm. feet, exactly. Uh, I just <laughs> need to see him specifically, and then I can teleport him to a place I can see within range. If I can look at your mirror, and that mirror is pointed at me, but also at the deck of our ship, I can teleport him to where I can see within range. Which Sir, is... I've got a suggestion. Yeah. What Are we... you suggesting me? No. No, I'm not magical like that. Okay, good. <laughs> Bongo's been working on I've his, seen Tyus doing his it. voice. So, what if we come alongside? Have you been drinking, Bongo? A little bit, yes. With you guys. It's a helps. stressful environment, I it understand. It helps quite a lot. I understand why you would So, do we come alongside with our boat, all right? Yeah, And you'll be up in the crow's nest, and you'll look down. No, not him, you. Me. Right. Why don't you just, just get closer and wait until you can see him? Well, I was expecting... with the mirror. Well, the mirror thing is, in case he's around a corner, right? Right, I yes. need to teleport him to somewhere I can see within range. So if I need to angle my vision right. to somewhere more suitable for him to be teleported to, because he's probably in a dark... And it helps you get around the 90 feet... The 90 feet but, thing. All so right, yes, so okay. Seems like he's so, overcomplicated. So it's you're all. going out to their ship, yeah. getting onto their ship, Finding Titus, teleporting him back to the place you can see. Yeah. What happens to you? You're now on their ship. Oh, I stealth away because I'm a soldier. Right. Okay. There's a lot of risk in this. Yeah, huge risk. But we're heroes. What Just happens when we steal their prisoner back? What What if they attack us? They've got a sea turtle to contend with. I don't think they're going to go they're any faster than notice. the fastest ship. You're just going to try and escape, are you? We're just going to go fast as hell. Just going to leave the turtle and the catch on board. Well. I think we're cutting our losses at Come this point. Can I just say, sir, that 
basing on the various opportunities that have been laid before you, you guys certainly seem to have chosen the worst option of all. I've got a backup plan as well. What's your backup plan, I've got the to? toad in my back pocket. you got the toad just in your back pocket? If I get compromised, I'm going to toad them. You're going to toad them? And Pretty good, sir. What's we can the do toad? whatever we like. I don't think I've seen your toad. Oh, do you want to see it? Yes. No, I don't oh, have God, it on me. That's, oh. that's what would happen. I'd open the lid like this. Yes, you'd would... look at the toad and you'd be bemused. You'd be startled. Have you been bemused? Yeah. Only, you know, professionally. Speaking. What's it for your like? It feels quite nice, honestly. Like, mm. you want to look at it forever. Oh, okay. Um, but what we can do, we've got a magical toad. They'll be allured by the toad. Maybe. Oh! I've got an even better idea! I'm Jeez. not going to do any of that! I'm glad we've got all the time in the world to come up with ideas. Alright! Give me the toad! Kapipi, hey. I'll see you in a minute. What am I doing? Am I part of the plan? Be ready to, to attack, everyone, attack on everyone on site if it all, if goes, it all tits goes tits up. up. We're hoping for a tits down then. Notify the crew, notify Dr. Feelgood that we're going to make a quick escape if shit goes south. Alright, I'll do that. You go do whatever your plan is. Dr. Feelgood! I'm oh, running. Off. I'm it's coming! Yeah, it uh, fades off. The Kevin! Head. Kevin, you slag! God, I, I try and grab him through the so cage. You're downstairs now. Yeah, I'm right, running downstairs. What? What? I'm just what grabbing want? through him. Ah. Little bitch. Please! You just Where's want the toad? Where's the life? toad? It's in one of the boxes over there and he points. Where? He points. You're wasting my time! Oh. <laughs> um, he, he looks, he points through the bars, down at some chart, um, collection of chests on the floor. You recognise quite quickly one of them is the one that Toad came in. I turn my back to him, I hurriedly get this. As you turn his back, he stabs you in the gut. He can't. He's got the gloves on. He's got the gloves no, on. No, he doesn't. He doesn't do any of that. But one what day. What I'm saying is, when I turn Kevin, my back. You're going to turn Kevin into the, your future enemy, is all I'm saying. That's right? what I'm hoping It's going to be yeah. just. I'm hoping for a new It's going to be like Despicable Me. He's yeah. going to be groomed. I'm really building up a new plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I turn my back to him. Mm -hmm. I go to get the toad. He's only seen my back, right? I'm yep. putting on the fucking glove. Right. I'm putting on a glove. You're putting a glove on. And yeah. I'm walking my way backwards towards him. So I slap him. You turn around. Ow, no, he doesn't see him. You blindside him. You didn't see that coming, did you, Kevin? He stumbles, he's thrown to the floor, right? He's all sprawled out, he looks up at you, first in shock, and then just you're seething hatred in his eyes. How's your job satisfaction anyway? Are you having a good time down here? This isn't a job of a prisoner! I'm you busy, Kevin! I've got things to do! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going up. I run, okay. I, with the... I tuck <laughs> it, <laughs> it into a pouch. <laughs> he can't even free himself through the clutches of death! Um, ah! Put us alongside, Bongo! Really good, sir. Is Kevin crying again? Yeah, he's Sounds like you're really again. abusing him. Ah, uh, nah. It's not my place to question it, though. Nah, it's fine. Oh, Christ. Alright, let's just go alongside. I'm going to do some negotiation. So Bongo's there at the wheel. He's, um, you know, ordering Handsome Andy around. Um, <laughs> Handsome Andy is just... Slipped into the real punching bag. Yeah, he's, he's just a real punching with the sack he's just, on. He's just good. He's wandering around with his sack on, occasionally bumping into things. Um, and yeah, Do we give him a bucket? The ship spins. Is there a bucket now? Is, is there a bucket? It? Or a it sack? is a bucket. Did you upgrade now, yeah. your bucket? And we shot through it for air holes. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you have to be very careful. Here's a bucket. Yeah, yeah, but his peripheral vision is terrible. And on a ship, which is quite a dangerous place, he's frequently yeah. taking blows to the head yeah. from like. You know, like winching. Once you get like one that. concussion, it's uh, yeah. Well, yeah, one concussion might as well, might as well keep you going. You fall into many more. Um, so the ship swings around because you're all you were kind of pointing opposite each other this time. The ship turns around and pulls uh, and starts to pull parallel with um, the the other ship. Ahoy, hi, ahoy there. Oh, hello. Church of Triangulus. Oh, hi, yes, it's us. We have a deal. For a you. deal. Yes. You're going to deal with the turtle? I forgot that we've got precious cargo here. <gasps> and let me, let's have a little chat <laughs> briefly before you go. You don't have to yell, but mate, we're on the way. Well, <laughs> we've got this. Look. It's an exquisite triangle ornate gem in here. Oh, very nice. How about we trade that for Titus? And it can go nicely on the sea turtle's head. All right, give me a persuasion roll. <laughs> All right. Ooh. 18 minus two, 16. Why am I persuading? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I that'll do. <laughs> that'll, that passes. 
Hmm, okay, right, well. It's the most triangular thing I've ever seen. Well, we'll send a rope over. And so one of the, the, the crew, they don't want to stop. You're both kind of going along now, trawling along at about five, 10 knots, not too quickly, um, but you're making way. One of the, um, like, you know, one of their sailors walks up to the, the, the railing of their ship and he has what looks like a handheld harpoon gun but on the back, it's got like a reel of rope. And he just sort of goes, <laughs> not into the, <laughs> and the, the, really unnecessary. the harpoon sticks into the main mast of your ship. Um, and, uh, and then another one. <laughs> Two. <laughs> and so now what you've got is you've got like, we just a bought this ship. <laughs> a footway and above that a little bit higher, uh, an arm thing. So now you can sort of shimmy across and they're like, Send it across and we'll have an inspection and then we'll decide. Oh, no, no, I know how these deals work. I've done many deals like this in the past. I'm going to bring the goods over myself. Okay. And you're going to inspect them under my supervision. Fair enough. Because it's a, such a priceless gem. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't I'm sure you're honorable church. We love people. triangles. I know you do. Yeah. All right, I'm going to shimmy over. Okay, give me an acrobatics check or an athletics check. Your choice. I'm going to go with athletics. Yeah. Eight plus six, though. Oh, okay. 14. Okay, that's pretty yeah, good. You're okay. You get across. Nice. Slippery rope. Yeah, dangerous. I mean, right. you're going literally going between two large moving vessels that sit in burns. the middle of an open mm. sea whilst moving. Um, but you did well. You make it across. I presume you strap the box to yourself somehow. <laughs> yeah, I tuck it into my artificer's uh, belt strap. Okay. Yep. And hop on over. Oh, well, welcome aboard again. Hello. And Bonga, you can see you back over there. What's um, uh, Kapipi, where are you at this point? I'm just back on the. I had no idea what his plan was. He didn't tell me, so I just told uh, Doctor Feelgood what to do. And I'm just, this is leaning against the mast, just watching it unfold. Right? <laughs> I'm hoping another just, harpoon doesn't come away. Yeah. <laughs> Quite, that was close. Quite, yeah, just, my, right above my head. Now. <laughs> yeah, just leaning against it. Like. Yep. Okay, you drop onto the deck. So then, let's see this gem. Well. You're all going to want to see this. Titus, I presume you've come up to the deck. Up deck. What's going on? Oh, hey, you've come to save me, rescue me. Pay for my release. I Thank think... you, finally. <laughs> oh, finally. Some sense. Someone with sense As is here. Well, I don't know if ah. I want to part with this. Uncuff me. Okay. Titus, just so you know, your hands are behind your back and bound. Unless your spells require no somatic elements, you cannot cast spells. Thematic, I believe, is the, the hand movements that are required. So all spells require three elements. A vocal, um, a moving bit, and a component Sometimes bit. Spoken. Can I use a bird noise stick? What for? I don't have access to one. You don't have the bird noise stick. I just, wish I, just wish I had it. Oh, yeah. I have that. He's trapped in his mind again, imagining. Ah, the bird noise the stick perfect was escape. the most unused item we have. Oh, I wish What's we had it right now. The bird calls. Bird calls yeah. Yeah. Nine Stop. charges left. The has got it. Nine out of ten charges left. Uh, right. Make it sound like a hawk. It's above us. Maybe some other birds. The seagulls. Oh, those are anyway. Is he already uh, going mad? He's not good when he's bound. Anyway. Uh, it, 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 well, I mean, uh, you know, we've seen it before. I, I myself am of noble blood. With, with, with the long noble lines, you tend to get to that sort of level of... Don't give him the box! Mad hysteria, huh? It's it. worth too much. It's the triangular thing, right? Oh, science! <laughs> it's worth too <so> much! <laughs> Maybe he science. He's not about that, but, you know, he's our servant for now. Actually, we, I don't <sighs> think it's worth the trade. This is a really good triangle. Nonsense. It's not worth it. Just enslave me forever. Well, okay. See you later then. All right, you don't want this. No, no, no. Well, it's late forever. It's worth too much. Oh, shit. My body is not worth as much as that box. He's trying Silence! to kill you. Ah! He's going to be like this the whole way. I'm so, starting to think maybe he is a bit of a shit. Take so, the box and run. He's never done. It's worth so, way more than my life. <laughs> he's never done. <laughs> no. <laughs> third strike. Oh, with damn it. it. Take <laughs> some of it. He's trying. Come on, hit me. Oh, I needed that. Oh. Smart. <laughs> He's a pain in the ass, frankly, so maybe we'll keep the triangle for ourselves because it's worth millions. I can't no. look. I won't look. This is treacherous. Let's make a deal. We can make a deal here. All right. As long as he doesn't say a single word. He's not word. allowed to look at it. He says one more word, the deal is off. All right, fair enough. Shut your mouth, Titus. I don't know why we're even doing this deal. This is frankly nonsense. All right, gather around. Okay. All you church goes, you really want to see this. <laughs> Quite the triangle. Okay, so him and... Uh, let me, I've got their names here. I turn around. 
Which way? To, you're, okay, you're not looking at uh, the block. Don't taint yeah. this triangle, mm -hmm. Titus. Right, so you've gaze. got the Sir Preamble Fortescue, the man you're talking to right now. You have the High Priest Lucerne and Inquisitor Quang. All three of these powerful wizards gather round to look upon this triangular jewel of repute. Feast your eyes, gentlemen of the Church of Triangulus. This is quite the gift. And once again, they see the frog <laughs> or the toad. And he looks around for a moment. They're like, wait a minute, what is this? And then that, it opens his mouth and oh, oh. Oh, right, and they're just going to all try and do a save. <laughs> two of them save. Uh, sorry, two of them don't save. And then by the And quite quickly they start to um, fall into this sort of semi sort of paralysis, semi hypnosis style effect of this uh, prismatic toad. And um, yeah, they're, they're, they are charmed and paralyzed. Uh, by, but one of them isn't. But one of them, however, and we're going to say it's Inquisitor Quang, being of a strong-willed nature. The Inquisitor um, was uh, in charge of seeking out heretics of the Church of Triangulus. Uh, very strong-willed resistance to um, sort of effects like this. He sees. He's seen these before. He's he's travelled a lot, and he's seen this kind of tone. And he's like, wait a minute. I know what this is. Okay, yep, you, bye! <laughs> now I'm gonna do Vortex Warp on him. Okay. <laughs> so it's a con saving throw of 15. Okay. And I'm gonna try and teleport him into the he water. Fails. Nice, I teleport him into the water. Mm -hmm. If I can see the sea turtle's face from here, mm -hmm. I'll put it right in front of his mouth. <laughs> you can't see the sea turtle's face, but you can see like the back of the shell. You can see about where the head is. Um, I would say that you could definitely put it slightly ahead of the turtle. Okay. Um, I don't think you could get it like right in front because you can't see it, but like slightly off the I left. will definitely put him in the water though, or okay. at least teleport him above the water so he splashes in. So he right just, how's he, what does it look like, the spell? It, it, so it's like, imagine like it, mm -hmm. space and time literally folds in on itself into a point <laughs> and he pops out of existence and then pops back in. <laughs> you hear this splash and this yelp and then just instantly up. <laughs> The turtle oh, eats him up straight, straight away. Straight away. Straight away. The turtle, I mean, this turtle hasn't eaten in a while. It's a grazer. It naturally eats things that sort of drift past its head. So you teleport it in front of the turtle. Kabibi! I just like hear the splash. I was like, what was it? Because I guess he teleported and got mm -hmm. eaten so, so fast. But I heard the splash. I was like, what was that? While well, I'm just nibbling on a bit of lettuce or something. <laughs> look, re look ready! Can I hear you from- y yes, I'm ready, I'm looking ready. Oh boy, what but a triangle it must right. be! Okay, one thing I'm going to do here, give me a stealth check to see if you manage to pull that off without the rest of the crew noticing. Okay. The crew are sort of busying themselves, looking around. Equally, not all of them care. <laughs> Five! Nah, they saw. Um, so, um... <laughs> Vortex Warp! <laughs> Vortex Warp, another one. No, no, no. Oh, all right, that's you yell that. Right, was, yeah. Vortex Warp! And they're like, where did he go? What's happened? And then... Some, some, you're, you're not, they're not quite going to arms yet, but some of the, uh, like the, um, let's call them men at arms, the, the people that aren't sailors, who were sort of just stood around, they're, they're like, what did you do to him? Where's he gone? He's with the church and Triangulus now. <laughs> you killed him? Look over there, there's a triangle in the sky, behind you. Everyone look towards the triangle over there. You, can, you see okay. it? It's quite small in the sky. <laughs> the You've got to win a little bit. check from time to <laughs> Look, a triangle. <laughs> 12 plus, wait, what is it? Deception. 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 Oh, where's that? I got plus one on that one. Uh, okay, so 13. Not, not very high. No, it's really clean. It's a very sharp yeah. triangle. If no, you don't believe you. <laughs> it's, it's just over there. You can see it. Anyone? And then one of the guys. Tie off the side. <laughs> That's what he shouted. What are you doing with the frog? I'm just going to back away. So the, the two wizards are there. The the guy with his spear is now looking like looking around. Ah, there's nonsense. There's no there's no triangle up there. What's going on here? What sort of deal is this? You know, getting agitated. You. I'm going to just sort of down. Shouted, Titus, jump over the side. We gotta go, mate. I'm trying to go fishing. Whoa! All right, Titus jumps over the side, <laughs> fully bound. I'm going to leave the toad on the floor I can swim so the wizards those are bands. incapacitated. Okay, right. The yes. toad stays on the on the deck, mm -hmm. and I'm going to oh. jump off. I'm going to start roping across. All right, you start roping across. Titus I'm has jumped off. I'm like Super Mario. 
Titus can't swim. <laughs> he starts to sink to the right. You can luckily can you breathe. can breathe underwater, but you you're in this, the middle of I'll a great wait. ocean. It's thousands of meters deep, and Titus is currently sinking at a rate of you know a couple meters a second. He's got heavy manacles on. Stand down an anchor. <laughs> Kapip, he's overboard. <laughs> as I'm broken across. Titus, as you fall, light is quickly disappearing. Okay, so you see the bottom of the boat. You look up. Um, you see uh, a, a sort of a blurry image of sword quickly trying to shimmy his way over as um, the guards on the ship start to use an axe, like a, um, a boarding axe, to just hack at the ropes that they've sent across to try and cut you off. No! Okay? Uh, give Don't me uh, an athletics check. All right. Sword, uh, sorry, Titus, yeah, like I say, you are dropping down through the ocean, light is beginning to fade as more and more you're falling down, fish are occasionally swimming past you, you see the huge shape of the turtle, uh, the turtle starting to fade out of sight as well. Um, have I noticed what's going on? Yes, see, you've yeah, seen okay. all of this. I rush to the front of the ship to lower the Iron Maiden that we have on front again. Oh, so, okay, okay, yeah. Sink down, Dunk right? it. Your eye, your 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 anchor is not chain. It's not going to be long enough to reach the bottom. It's not. Um, it's probably a couple hundred meters. I call my ancestors. Well, can I lower the anchor? Ancestors. <laughs> Neither your anchor Spirits. nor the Iron Maiden. Or, both of them only have a chain, the same chain of a, a couple hundred he's meters. For a, ships, an can't, ships can't lower their anchors in the center of a deep, deep sea. And he's already ancestors out of range, is he? Anyone? Uh, no, he's not at the moment. No. So I'm lowering the Iron mm -hmm. Maiden. Then. Okay, so uh, all the way it can, it can get the smoke is <laughs> as, as the metal chain that it's attached to starts to uh, fly out through the front of the. Uh, Ship. Cole, you don't want to get your fingers in that. You do not want to get your fingers in that. As, uh, and quite quickly. Right, I mean, how would this work in terms of um, the physics involved? Like, would, would an object that's heavier than another object catch up? Uh, to so, yeah. The speed and velocity of which there's, mm. there's no... If it was heavier, it would go faster than something lighter, right? Depending yeah, but then you've got to bear in mind resistance. A, is there a terminal velocity underwater? No, oh, this is the thing. It probably is, but my tiny brain's not big enough to... What happens in this world, though? What happens That's in this world is that the uh, the Iron Maiden is lowering, and it's it's not lowering much faster than, than Titus. Not to mention, Titus jumped off the side of a moving ship, which is yours is also moving. So if we can imagine, there was a point Titus jumped in, the ships have kind of already gone past it, so right. you're lowering so Iron Maiden, great, great idea, but I think it's probably just going to end up trailing underneath your ship because it's being lowered from the front right. of the ship. God, if I could swim right now, this would be the perfect opportunity. <laughs> to say um, I got a 12 on my athletics. How okay. does that fare? <laughs> to do what? To get, just get to You get ship. across before the cat managed to cut the ropes. Okay, I jump onto the ship, mm -hmm. I yep. turn around. Can I see Titus in the water? No. Probably not. Shit. <laughs> you're here. Again, you're in the middle of an open sea. A man has jumped off the side of a ship covered in iron and he's now sinking <coughs> at a rate of which, if you imagine throwing, um, you know, a large piece of metal off of the side of a boat, mm. just imagine how fast that sinks. Right. I'm um, asking this ook, just because yep. I've never used it before. I have a teleportation circle. I assume this will be useless here. Yeah, it takes 10 minutes to set up. Yeah. Right. And you yeah. need oh, another right. circle to teleport to. Well, that's already set up on the ship. Yeah, oh, yeah. Kind of like, yeah, I yeah, yeah. That bit, but. What you could do is work out a way to breathe somehow, set the teleportation um, circle up on the bottom of the sea, and then teleport from there to the one on your ship. If you can work out a way to breathe for 10 minutes, find Titus, <laughs> I'll allow you to do it. But like, like Trot says, ook. Um, because I can't swim down there either. That's you, well, I mean, you can't swim, but you can sink. Any creatures that might God, be able to risk. bite the metal Do you off? still have tongues, right? Oh, I do, yeah. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, give me um, like a perception or investigation check. Hello. Well, I don't know how, what's don't the best know. role do you think to use for like finding something? Oh, yeah, investigation. Investigation, yeah. yeah. Saying that. You look around. With a plus eight, was that 12? Yeah. You got plus eight to investigation. Yeah. Okay. 20. You see a sea creature. I'm going to leave it up to you. What kind of sea uh, creature would you spot and think, I'll talk to that sea creature? Uh, the the, the, the kind of sea creatures me. you'd have at this depth. Squid, large fish, um, yes, like, you know, uh, Maybe squid. whales, squid porpoises. Are friendly, are they going to be able to do anything, though? Need to swim or... Is there any chance you would sink into another um, Triton city? I don't know, that's what I was hoping. I don't know if, to, uh, if that was something that was going to happen. With that but... roll, 
I'm going to say that if you wear, if you want to wait, a small to village. It, that's a pretty good roll. I think <laughs> you, 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 you see oh. beneath your feet. You've been falling for a few minutes oh, now fuck. through the ocean. No way. <laughs> and beneath you, you see a few lights that might be you spot. That of a tri Triton village of some people hey! who, for some fucking hey! reason, live on the bottom of the ocean. Guys! It's dark as shit. As he, Whoa! He this. Not an anchor. I'm not an Whoa! anchor. I'm not an anchor. I'm not an anchor. <laughs> They're closing out the windows. I'm not an anchor. They're pulling covers hey, over hey, their hey. chimneys. I'm one of you. Hello? Hey! Hello? Hey! 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 hey. And then you. I have no boom. real power to. Oh! You ah. come to a rest on the bottom of the sea. You kick up a bit of silt. All right. It's time for Triton 2, don't be threatened by me. A Triton kid comes out, pushing a little wheel with a stick that for some reason works underwater. Right, wow. Oh, hello there! Friend hey. Pipe, Titan! Oh man, am I relieved to see you. <laughs> you have a manacle. Are you, are you a criminal? I'm not, I'm a royal. They're a royal? Yeah, don't you know? Father says to avoid the royals, they do strange things to children. I'm a Zebedee! You're a Zebedee! A Zebedee. I've heard of your people. Oh, that's, well, that's, that's really helpful because what's happened is... <laughs> They dragged me out of the ocean in a furious rage. Who's they? The people on the top there. Have you ever been to the top? It's quite far. Landsiders? Then you get land. <laughs> no. They were in a giant wooden craft and they put these iron shackles on me and they said, Oh, I hate Titans. Tritons are disgusting creatures. And they spat on me. Uh, I know. I never They'll do it to all of us if they we don't release awful. me. I can save us. I'm going home now. No, 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 no. <laughs> We'll get your father or someone. Someone with something that would break My father iron. died. He was killed by an anchor. No, not the anchors. <laughs> May they rest in peace. The anchors? No, no, the, the people who died at the anchor. I was there at Ankerfell. Ah, I heard about that. The great tower. Oh, you wouldn't be there. You were too young. I was too young. Mm, I'm Ankerfell. very young. It was I'm a treacherous just eight time. tides old. Eight tides? Christ, that's young. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's not like... the same as... Normal it's tides. not the same, it's, it's ocean tides. Ocean score tide. tides. They're very different tides. It's like two tides it? a day, yeah. Uh, can you help me at all, young fellow? What do you want me to do? Well, I just need to release these shackles here so that I can get up there and get rid of these treacherous invaders of our world. Hmm. That sounds like a noble cause. Uh, give me a persuasion roll. It's 15 on there. What's my persuasion here? Five, plus five. Fucking hell, turn it 20. Very good. I think I can help you, yes. And he gets behind you and you see oh the manacles. Goodness. They're quite simple manacles, it turns out. It's basically just like a screw bar. So he, he undoes the screw, takes this out. Oh, and wow. Manacles Great. come off. Thank you. Once again, you're you're able to swim and cast spells. Is there anything and you he holds out his hand. Is there anything like, you would like, like for like a tip? Is there anything you need? Yes. Um, the blood of the landsiders. That's Go up perfect. there and wreak hell upon them. Bloody hell. They can rue the day they tell us <laughs> yes. our fishy ways. <laughs> yes, I will. Kill one for my father. Remember this face. I will become even more powerful and friendly. I'm friendly as to is, who? To you, to you, to you. Yeah, 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 we're friends. We're friends. You've saved me. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank I'm gonna go to the top. It's gonna take a while. It's quite far up. But and then I will get their blood. If it rains blood, I've done it. Not my blood though. Just watch out for that. How can we tell? I, honestly, I don't know. Taste. Taste? You want a taste of my blood? No, I mean, blood in the water, it kind of right. it does mix around. It's not like iron. air. Like, everything you put in the sea, we have to breathe in, consume. Right, the kind of, sh yeah, the shit. The microplastics. Yeah. I forget, nightmare. it's been a while. I was up there for a bit. They imprisoned me for years. You got Decades. used to it. You've grown soft. I have. In I the want air's to come, presence. I know. I want to come back down down here and I'll You're save sure. you guys. Come I'll, back I'll, to this I'll, town. I'm ritual Little Pudlington. Come back to Little Pudlington one day. Pudlington, yes. This is Little Pudlington. <laughs> Brilliant. What a great place, it's very nice and very quaint. Yes, I no will, puddles. Like, I will enrich everyone everywhere. in this village, I will go now. Yep. But I will enrich you. I can't wait to tell my family about this chance meeting. Tell them everything. I'll tell them about the time I met a royal. Explain how it happened. Tell them that I came from the sky, obviously the sky in terms of you is the top of the uh, ocean. You came from, I came from the surface. And then you unshackled me and I went up and saved the day. Can I keep the shackles? Yeah, sure. Mum's gonna love these. That's absolutely She's fine. She's into this stuff. Yeah, repurpose, <laughs> mate. Yeah. Anything you, you should reuse. meet my mum. Can you be my new dad? Honestly, there's no time for that. Would you be my new dad? Oh, maybe. What's she like? Do you want to meet them? You're right. I can meet them. Come on. I haven't really got time. <laughs> but where are they? Can, can it be quick? Can we just, just down the road. It's just a 20 minute swim. 20 minute swim. I can't. I can't. I'm oh, sorry. now you well, can't. Look, there's danger. Maybe I should put you back in the shuttle. There's danger. Oh, you, can't, you couldn't now. I'll try. <laughs> You've already released me. I'm a wizard. 
Oh, you're a wizard. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not a good wizard. No, no. Good, 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 friendly, friendly. Not a bad wizard. No, no, friendly, friendly. Not the one that does all the sex no, magic. No, no. Oh, God, no. Mum likes those too. What happened? Oh, does she really? Mum gets some strange men. Well, maybe I should be. No, 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 no time. No, no time for this. I have to go to the surface to save the day. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Puddlington Seven. Puddlington boy. What is your name, boy? I'm swimming slowly. Finn. Up the... Finn. My name is Finn. Be brave, Finn. <laughs> Don't let those anchors fall on your family. <laughs> Really traumatizing. Yeah. Oh. So you start swimming oh. off. I remember it too. <laughs> <laughs> you both start having it's a traumatic episode. I remember it too, Finn. Don't be like me. Look away. Look away, Finn. He's just, he's just waving up at you as you kind of look drift away back from the up. anchors, Finn. Watch out for the anchors, buddy. So as you two are desperately, he's dead. <laughs> I can't believe it. He must have. There's no point. I'm swimming. Pull up the Iron Maiden. I'll wind it up. Wind it up. We've yeah. got to go alone. Right. Uh, after a couple of minutes of swimming up, and We've... some distance away, tighter surfaces. We've gone through all ah, tighter, pages In the of distance Greek. now, luckily you still see where the ship is, but it's Christ. 500 meters away, half a kilometer probably. Right. Right. Um, so what are you going to do? Get my swimming legs on. You guys Don't haven't seen him like yet. Any... Are you just getting over it now? Are you Don't processing the death? Down. We need to win. Oh, you sir! Hello, sir! Oh, what do you want, sir? I'll speak to Handsome Andy. Handsome I've been Andy. drinking heavily! Yeah, it's wow. awful what happens. <laughs> the things we get up to on this ship, it's madness! Why did I ever apply for this ship? I push his face out of the way. <laughs> Handsome Andy. <laughs> oh, Mate. um, you right? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, we've lost Titus for some time now. I think it's about time that we made like Am a... I going to be your new party member? Nope. I'll, oh, I'll, come on, I can do loads of magic with my face. I'd like Watch this, and he just smacks his face onto one of the handrails next to him and just drags it along, and you hear a loud, loud squeaking sound. Whoa. It's can basically that? That, was, that was hell, that was awesome. I call it manual prestidigitation. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, right, I need you to whittle a statue of Titus for the front of the ship. How big? In his honor. How big? Twice. His size. This feels like more of a bongo job. Anything that uses refined skills. Have you seen him? Are you sure he's, he's, he's I mean, hammered? He's only gone for a few minutes. It's like, been days. No, it's in right. In my mind. Master I, Sword is right, Master KPP. We're out in the ocean. Time is I can, nothing. I can go down and look for him. Too late. Gone. It's over, KPP. And Handsome Andy puts a, a ragged hand with fingers missing Even on your shoulder. Even though I can't swim, I can go down there and look for him. Do you do it, Master Kapipi? Do you think about it for a second? You can't swim. I can't swim, but I can sink. I can sink, and I, I can't can... lose. Maybe we should all sink. I can hold my breath to up to an hour because I'm a turtle. Oh! And my and I can do a teleportation circle that actually only takes a minute to cast, not an hour. What? Ten minutes, wasn't it? No, it's a minute. Or oh, you go and do that. <laughs> so I can go and do <laughs> that. Mr. if you just know more about the things you could do, you could have made decisions faster. He's got on, he's, he's onto something there, he? And you could have seen Tyus, but you don't know the oh, things you could do, Master Kapipi. God! I'm going to hold this against you for the rest of your life, Kapipi. You know you got a chance on the ship, Mr. Kapipi, but if you just read a book for a fucking second! <laughs> you had all the power in you! I had it in me all along. That's why he just throws himself off the ship. Get down there and recover his body at least. <laughs> I'll go down and look whoa, for his body. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Emma, why did I do this? He's just like desperately trying to keep his head above the surface. I'm throwing my rope down. There's a shit. You hit him in the face with a rope. Get up, it bounces man. off his fucking bucket. You're staying on the ship. I'm going down. There's a bucket. I'll go. Can we tie anything? Tie it onto the handle of the bucket. We'll pull you up with your head. <laughs> he ties. He, he, he finds the rope. Ties it around to the handle of the bucket. What's wrong? Hold on. What's <laughs> wrong? As you pull on the rope, each tug you hear a loud exclamation. That and handle is very useful. <laughs> And he bonks onto the side of the ship, and you just drag him up the side of the wooden <laughs> ship. Just <laughs> and uh, he flops over the side like Manu a manual prestigitation. <laughs> <laughs> As he just <laughs> spits the water out of the side of the bucket, and it kind of seeps out from under the edge now of the bucket. Now different holes. <laughs> like a like a ship clearing uh, a, a, a dolphin clearing its blowhole. It's about time for lunch, handsome Andy. Do you mind getting on there? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, all right. Oh, God. I've spat. I, there's literally spit, like a globule of spit yeah, you're really running down oh. the... Oh, that's so gross. 
Oh, that's grim. You can't, you can't see, see it. it you can actually. If you turn it sideways, it. There you oh, go. you can see it there. Ugh. That's it. That's art right there. Um, um, commitment to the bit. Right. Can I enlarge and reduce myself? Yeah. Okay. I think you can, can't you? I'd like to. You've got that, haven't you? Yeah, but from up to a minute. Right, yeah, back to Titus, who sees the ship, and what you decide so to do So far now away, maybe surface. I could enlarge myself so my speed was better and I reach it quicker? Nope. You've already got a swimming speed of, I think, 60 feet, which is pretty quick. And so what happens if I get big? I don't think it changes so anything. by eight, check. like it would my size? I think it's The like... growth increases its size by one category from medium to large, for example. If okay. there's enough room... Um, the target also has advantage on strength checks. The target's weapons also grow to match its new size. I guess if um, it doesn't say about your speed, then it doesn't... So would the speed be the same or would it be slower? I mean, you become lumbering and slow. A large doesn't mm -hmm. affect speed. But surely I get closer to it just by being bigger. Yeah, <laughs> well, you'll be. the width that you've oh, got. I'm going to become then, big. By that logic, your feet would also get further away from it. <laughs> so how long will it take me to get there? Are they static feet. or are they still moving? The ship is not moving at 60 feet a second, I don't think. So, you know, I think you're all right. You'll catch up eventually. It'll take you a few minutes to swim. What oh, happened to the other ship? 10 minutes of swimming. Can I reduce that mm. by doing anything? Um, or have I gust to wind the ship back to me? Huh? Gust to wind it back to me? Yeah, what's going on with the other ship as well? <laughs> Come back to me. Bloody good question. Right, um, so what do you, in terms of steering the ship, are you guys still alongside it? I imagine once you get on board, you, you Peel off. We're planning to right. peel off and move away. Unless yeah. you want to give him like a broadside. What, what if we jump on the wheel and do a U-turn because we're going back to get to recover his body? We'll do from, a Yui. From the, I'll go down and recover his. You can't take a his, right. You can't do a Yui. The crew this. and not, not the crew the of the ship. The reason there's not been much of a response is because without the leadership, the somewhat authoritarian leadership of the three wizards, uh, the crew is hired largely. So they're like they don't really want to start anything. Like they can tell something's not gone right but they also know that you're probably quite powerful, so they don't want to mess with you. Hello. All right. You say you asked them a long time. I'm doing my hand thing, which means they can instantly hear me across the ship. Right. Hello. Hello. All right. I understand you're in a bit of a quandary right now because you've lost your bosses to either hypnosis or eaten by a turtle. Is that what that was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the jump on him. This is um, a guy who stood with a spear, one of the men at arms just stood at the railing, just having a very candid co conversation with Sword here. Yeah. Yeah? Situation is, we lost our guy. Suck. It really sucks, actually. Stop bringing it up. Um, he's dead, and we've lost Do our Do you want to talk about the guy you lost again? No. No, I don't. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I don't. Right. You... I'll stop bringing it up. Thank you. But it's pretty funny, though, right? He sunk so quick. He must yeah. be gone for good. In time, I'll find it funny. You guys right are talking now. about how yeah. it was my fault, are you? Yeah, I mean, he could have done something about it. He's a turtle, it. surely! Yeah, exactly. We we found a purpose for our turtle, why can't you find a purpose for your turtle? I lay thick blame on him. Good! And a lifelong grudge. I hope so. Anyway... Glad to hear it. Uh, we've both lost something, you've lost your bosses, but you've gained a ship. Oh! How about we pretend this never happened, you unstrap yourself from that sea turtle, ship is yours. So what's going on with this frog then? That frog? Yeah. Don't look at it. Right. What, how long are they going to be like that then? As long as they're looking at the frog, yeah. they are like that. Right. So maybe just put them somewhere where they're never going to look away from it. Should we feed them? Do you want to feed them? We've only got so much, we've basically ran out of water. I'll leave their response, you know, their, them in your responsibility, mm -hmm. in your care. And food-wise, we've got all the meat we need with the turtle. You're going to eat the turtle? Yeah, and they've got a big fresh water reserve inside their shell as well. I'd really like it if you didn't hurt the <laughs> turtle. And I'd really like it if I didn't have to work a job where these crazy authoritarian wizards told me what you to do. You don't have but... to, or we just subdued them. Yeah, all. but we're still going to starve if, if we're out here You've on this got ship. got a ship. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's eat. We can't eat the ship. What are we going to do with them? We could eat them. Eat them. But that's, that's going to run out. That's your prerogative. That's going to run out, yeah, though, Yeah, but you it? can sail your ship away. Yeah. To somewhere where there's food. Right. I guess we'd let the turtle go. Ideally, it would it would speed things up a bit. The turtle, honestly, the turtle's been awful. The, the, it's the wizards that wanted the turtle. We don't he, care about the turtle. Look, I'm going to be transparent with you now. We know. Where's he gone? <laughs> oh, you don't I'm mean over here. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Good one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. We've had a dialogue with the sea turtle. We know its motives. Yeah. It really wants to sink your ship. Like it's desperate to because it hates you. Oh! Because you've been stabbing it a oh, lot. Oh, we have. We have, So yeah. ideally, you want to make 
you want to make yourself Do you think scared. it'll attack us if we release it? I think if you if you release it, it will be thankful for that and go its separate way. Okay. So release it. Shave out that wizard to confirm though, right? That guy that we lost? Sorry, I brought it up again. He's dead. He's gone. Yeah, he's done. It's actually starting to get funny now. Yeah, you like yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah God, I told him to go overboard. I told him to go overboard. Sorry, what was that? Manacled. Anyway, <laughs> take the ship. Yep. Release the sea turtle. Bob's your uncle. Right. Uh, we'll go our separate ways. Congrats on the new ship. Thank you. No, that's great. That's, that's really great. You're Cheers. Welcome. I'll tell the crew. And he turns around and starts telling people, hey, hey, good news. And they're all like, oh, yeah, yeah, nice. All right. And you see them start to saw at the ropes, hack at the ropes that are holding the turtle in place. Are they ushering the subdued wizards somewhere else? Or are they yeah, you see, there? you see the guy you talk to very gen, gen, like gently and carefully go behind the box, pick it up. And then a couple of the other crew sort of just come and like pick up. They're blindfolded crew. And they, they, <laughs> they, they, they sort of get guided onto picking up and guiding the, the, the stunned wizards down below decks. You don't know what's going to happen to them, but you are complicit in whatever happens. Out of sight, out of mind. Well, I mean, one day that ship is going to make port, the stories are going to spread, and then, you know, you never know what might happen, but... Don't I... tell our story. No. <laughs> Cut up all loose ends there. <laughs> Nicely tied up. Uh, it's at this point that you hear a splashing off of your port, uh, off the, uh, after the ship. Uh, and you look down and you see uh, Titus really putting in, like, you know, Michael Phelps in it, um, just oh. powering his way through hey, the sword, ocean. Look overboard. It's me. Hey. Titus. Oh. Wait. He's not dead. Hey, it's, me. it's a ghost Stop of shit. Titus. Yeah, it's like the undead mycelium thing. Oh, okay. I help oh, okay. A ghost. A ghost. No, no. It's actually just a living. Doing ship to engage broadsides. It's, it's right. more of an undead Bottom. carcass. Throws the wheel to the side and the ship broke. <coughs> turns to the left. I understand road. your reaction. Is it a ghost? I think so. I mean, you met undead. Kevin, right? He's a ghost. I just thought it was a child you were abusing downstairs. Oh no, no he's no. a good That's, a ghost. No, this is different. Uh, I just got used to that with all the millionaires. He's one right. of them. Right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it is about the power, it just drives them mad. Oh. Just turns them into really mean spirited people. Right. You just look the other way. Anyway, for just, a... I'm not there. I'm a really bendy neck. I always for look the other way. Uh, undead, you know, walking lifeless carcass of tyres. Mm. He sure does swim well. Yeah, it looks very Help. real as well. Please! Rope. He's saying stuff. Rope. Looks opaque. Send a rope down. And some Andy's there Please. like... Just desperately trying to untie the rope from underneath this bucket before you decide what to do. Throw All right. right, yeah, let's throw Andy over. <laughs> you want to throw Andy over? Yeah. No ah. time, Andy. What the? F oh, pretty out. <laughs> Grab onto oh. Andy. Sword in front of you. Andy's body hits the water. We'll hard. see if, um, oh, we'll see right, if this undead oh. monster oh. eats he, at Andy. He surfaces yeah. and he's he's just hit his belly. Like you know, he got red oh. bellied himself for real. Man. Andy. If we start ah. getting torn apart by the undead monster, let us know. Oh, right. Oh, God, my body slap the water is so bad. Oh. Andy, where's the undead monster? Where? It's where you. is it? Oh, wait, you're all right. Fucking no, 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 the bucket's giving me quite some he support. He seems to be frantically diving onto the body of Andy. Despite both being an excellent swimmer and having the capability to breathe water, Titus indeed does start to panic. <laughs> panic because and of the undead and, monster. Only because of the undead monster. Damn, Is he tearing Andy. him apart, yeah. people? I can't see from it. I can't it. quite tell mm -hmm. for all the splashing. It's quite thrashy. There's We're no blood. Up. I'm up. All right, let's pull him up. I couldn't help but over here. Did you say you told him to jump in the water? So it's <laughs> I your can't fault. hear you over the rope. So you start fault. pulling him up. You feel the rope go taut. Yeah, um, finally. Some of the automatons come out from underneath um, the rigging to help you pull uh, the, thank you. Uh, the rope. Thank you. About time, mm -hmm. frankly. Mm -hmm. oh, they got a nice, mm -hmm. nice tempo there. It's like, and the movement of their joints is strangely oh, melodic. Jesus. It's very melodic. Mm -hmm. like, you know, mm -hmm. God, this is taking mm -hmm. ages. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, and then you come yeah, up yeah. over the, the gunnel, uh -huh. uh, which the ridge of the, the top of the mm -hmm. ship, and um, like like landing a catch, just <laughs> flopping. I'm just flopping, just. <laughs> Titus is flopping down. like Tied a down. bitch for Tied a down. <laughs> It's me, guys. It's me. Sorry, I have to do this every time. <laughs> it's a tight it's a thing. thing. It's a thing. It's a adjustment, thing. adjustment period to land. Yeah, I was too deep. Yeah. I'm very deep. So you're not dead. 
No, I'm not dead. Oh, he's alive! Titus, I'm no, no. so glad to see He you. could have saved you earlier. I was actually Sorry. going to as well. Oh, it's fine. I met, I met some I people. I didn't. I met I a person well, down, down there. Well, on the other side. Really deep down So there. you, like, crossed over. No, I didn't die. I didn't die. What was it like dying? I can, so I can live down there. Wait, there's... You know, I, look at these. Don't touch them. Oh, your gills. I know, yeah. Oh. I can live down there. Oh. It was not, uh, How'd you get the manacles The worst off, situation that's, would have been... That's why we didn't come and rescue you. <laughs> I knew. We knew you'd be all right. Yeah, you don't need to make excuses. Yeah, but what would have happened would be I would have been down there and just lived on the base God, of the ocean dull. on my own until the silt consumes me. Wow. So, so you, luckily, you would have left him like that. Well, yeah, but that didn't happen. No, it didn't. No, no, we don't no, need no. to dwell on things that could have or didn't happen. That's yeah, fine, yeah. exactly. I met a small train the boy. The Sorry? Yeah, a small train boy down there. What, a little village. A dime a dozen down there. I, uh, apparently so. How long were you down there? Did you live a whole life down there? No, I didn't live a whole life. It wasn't a... What? It's time different. How long different? has it been up here? I don't, how how long? did you meet someone down there? What's well, it been, 20 minutes? I didn't know how long it's been. It an hour? feels like a lifetime. It feels like a on. lifetime. Where did the other ship go? They, they, you saw that? We don't oh, know. They kind of just handled itself. They're trying to detach from the sea turtle. I'm negotiating with them. Oh, that sea turtle might be angry. Oh, really? I promised it some things. <laughs> and in the distance, <laughs> they get the turtle free. <laughs> the last few lines, they're a good like 750 meters away now. You're kind of like starting to lose color and it's more like shapes and stuff. You see the turtle break three and then sort of a little bit of cheering and then a few moments and the turtle circles back round and then just starts destroying the ship. Just... Ooh. Well... It flumps up onto the ship, cracks the main hull, you hear Ooh. screaming, the sails are falling down, like... Ah! I mean, in fairness, they were... Abusing that they sea were, turtle. They got what they deserved, really. Yeah. I think this is exactly what should have happened. You I'm see wondering. him throw one of them up into the air and then just. Oh, we're going to lose oh, our toad. We seem so film. much more docile under the water. Now, this is uh, it seems out of character. I only know him from a minute's worth of speaking to him. But this, you hear yes. more crossing. Wow. <laughs> it's huge. It's so powerful. The ship's breaking up into pieces now. Uh, it doesn't seem wow. to be, you, you don't think there'll be ship. any survivors. Those wizards are dead now. Huh? Oh, they're dead as hell, yeah. They were wow. transfixed by our frog. Oh, no, you I hear mean, that, you heard work. a few momentary like screams and like, wait, what? And then like the odd gout of flame oh, or spell. Oh, there goes the last one there. <laughs> but it only lasts for a moment before another chomping sound as, as the turtle manages uh, to um, tragic, get really. the lot of them. Oh, what's that? In the, in the flotsam and jetsam of the, the wreckage of the ship. There's something that appears to be in the flotsam and jetsam of what, the ship. What's what could it be? Bits of, of the ship. Let me investigate with my bits eyes. Bits of the ship and cargo that have been knocked loose by this combat. Something a buoyant. A few minutes have passed. Something buoyant. It looks like a small chest. That seems like oh. a... You recognize it maybe the... Is that the toad cat? chest? Oh. All right. <laughs> we're we're going to toss, toss Andy out to grab it. Oh. Look over there in the flotsam Let's and jetsam. Toss Andy out to grab it. He was great grabbing Andy, do you mind? Oh, well, I'm already pretty wet, I suppose. Did a good job getting me, buddy. Let's get that chest. Tight checks the ropes tied to the bottom hand You're of the bucket. He's still wedged on his you head really and throws are. himself overboard. <laughs> he says he's got it. I wonder, right, as he's going <laughs> over, if we created like a bubble, like a seal on his bucket, yeah. he, he could scuba dive. He could. With he could. that rope. Well, yeah, in the same, in the same <laughs> breath, I could levitate that <laughs> item that he's collecting and he doesn't have to go in at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm right. choosing not to. <laughs> I'm electing him to. Puts him in his place, earns him respect. Yeah. Oh, I think it's more of it's a real training lesson for him. Have you got it yet, Andy? He's learning. Oh, the bucket's full of water, I think. I think it's literally. Oh, no, I think he's got it. I think it's the issue that we need to And he's clutching on to the... get on that bad boy. The Tom Tom's going over. They're really good at that. They hold yeah, him up the side. <laughs> and then once again, he clears the water from his helmet, it shoots out the ears and eye holes. <coughs> we thought you weren't going to get me up for a minute then. <coughs> we got to practice. Give me that. Here it is. Thank you, Andy. Uh, about that lunch. Oh, <laughs> fair, fair boy, I'll get right on it. Cheers. Oh, good. Cheers you hands. better check it I'm exhausted from swimming. What's, what's on the menu? How do I do that? It's so cold. What's on the menu? Don't Salt fish. Them. Salt, yeah, that's fine. Saltfish all round. Yeah. I'm going to quickly check Always on the toad. Like a quick open and slam. Yep. If it's in there. You see, like, momentarily. Kind of wanted it. He <laughs> really wanted it. <laughs> you better try to do it quick for me. 
it, you see, like, it momentarily notices that you're looking at it again. It's like, oh, oh, it's my time. We got the toe back. He's definitely in there, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Just one more. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hey, guys, there's treasure on that ship, isn't there? Don't, don't show me, don't show me. <laughs> <laughs> Not worth the risk. We, it's in there. Can you take this down to Kevin? Treasure? I don't want to look at him. Sure. Hey. I'll take this down. Hmm? I thought they had loads of treasure else. They did, like... Is, is there anything floating to the surface? Well, treasure's not going to flow, is it? But it's pretty deep. I'm not going down. There was there a big it. ornate chest. They if, said the chest they had. if the chest has a, an air pocket in it, surely that'll float. The items, it's more less of a chest and more of a cache with how it's described. Um, what is a cache and how is it different to a chest? A chest is an item, a chest is a wooden box sometimes bound with metal. A cache is a collection of materials. Uh, well, they could have just been loosely piled it together. It could have been in a large, oh. it was in, you don't know this, but it was in a large like metal like uh, container. You know, like, um, the, like it's a bath fireproof bath. and waterproof, but unfortunately it does have air in it but it contained things like heavy armor, weapons, things like that that are sinking to the bottom. That's gone. If you want, you can try and investigate it. I mean, like, you could go to the bottom of the sea. Well, it's going to take you quite a long time. There's that doesn't want to go for it. You know what? You say there, there was a little boy down there? There a little boy down there? Yeah, there was a little boy down there. there um, I think Puddling, Puddling, Puddlington. Oh, there's a little village. There's a little village. Old village. Yeah, yeah. And his They're name about was to be Finn. rained on with goods and... Caches of oh, I just about to be gonna, very rich. You know what? Just at the end, I just as a little sweetener, I said I would enrich his life. Nice. Um, I wasn't planning. To of course not. I don't know where. I don't even know. You how notice to the get giant there. turtle is diving down towards the direction of Little Puddlington, and he still looks hungry. Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> look, this. Look, we can't dwell on these things. Don't. <laughs> no. look, we got to get to we the hall. Can't dwell on these things. I'm free. We've got to be heroes. And you know, just for one day. Just well, at least one or two. No, we didn't want to be here as too long. Just we the one day? Earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, one all right, day. stick it to the one day, and then, uh, yeah, let's uh, move on. We, we've got something to beat. Bongo! I was, I was Roll say. yourself! As he says, throwing another shot of rum back. It's finally time. We're going to the horn! We're going to the horn! We're going, We're going to the, the horn! Doing something exciting! I think it's time for a what the hell happened performance on the stage. <laughs> Trauma! All right. What's happened here? I'll get up there. I don't know! Stop the drinking. I said I'm a terrible drunk. Well, That's hold on, on, before you sober up, he's about to do a performance on the stage. Why don't we set sail in motion? Let's go full speed. I'll play us a song and we'll we'll go to the Going blaring. <laughs> so so wait, how, do you, how do you start every performance? <laughs> And that, we're going and, to the horn. The we're lights. gonna get naughty. <laughs> right, the lights um, erupt in colour, <laughs> casting beautiful shades upon the now um, fully erect sails. Yes. Um, Christ, you are indeed erect. about to get horny, um, and with Kapipi's epic song, uh, you know, uh, illuminating the souls of the crew on board. Uh, you sail off towards your final destination, Wait, um, what? <laughs> the horn, uh, and that is the end of part one of session fourteen. Uh. Hope you enjoyed it. Next part is going to be the final act, where the crew of the Raw Dog fight for their lives, liberty, and legends they may form in this epic battle. Join us again for the final part. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Be safe out there. Bye. 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 Bye.